In the head-to-head -head series, I show you two different patients with two different diseases that have a similar radiologic appearance. Los Gates. Here are the two patients. You can see there is something asymmetric about the supraglottis, where one side is thicker than the other side. This would be a good time to pause the video, look at these images, and decide what you think is going on in each of these two cases. Okay, what do they have in common? Well, the most striking thing is the thickening of the soft tissues in the right supraglottis in both of these cases. Unfortunately, this one is non-contrast, but I think you'd find it looked a lot like this one overall. What are the differences between these two cases? Well, on patient number one, in addition to the thickening of the supraglottis, we're also seeing thickening of the platysma muscle and stranding of all the fat, really on both sides of the neck. We're not seeing that in patient number two. In patient number two, we're seeing this ill-defined enhancement throughout the area that we are interested in. Does that help to narrow down your differential? Here's another picture of patient two that might be helpful. You can see that in addition to the ill-defined enhancement throughout this lateral aspect of the larynx, you can also see a cystic area. It's a saccular cyst that accompanies the rest of this inflammation. So what's going on in each of these two cases? Well, this thickening of the platysma muscle and the stranding of the underlying fat, these are classic findings of prior radiation. Now, why would it be asymmetric? Because this patient had a lateral supraglottic T1 squamous cell carcinoma. The radiation field is predominantly right-sided, and so you get more post-radiation thickening of the laryngeal mucosa on the right than on the left. In patient number two, what we're seeing is the effect of an acute infection, probably superinfection of that saccular cyst I showed you on the last slide. You can get asymmetric enhancement, and it, it can arise within the larynx, or it can be secondary in the, in the larynx to an infectious el infection elsewhere in the head and neck, such as in the oropharynx spreading down into the neck. So what we have is post-radiation effect causing asymmetric thickening of the supraglottic soft tissues in patient number one. And we have a supraglottic infection, presumably superinfection of a saccular cyst, causing asymmetric thickening and inflammation in the supraglottic soft tissues in patient number two.